Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, all. Kitchen let. Yeah, yeah, let me speak. Kitchenist, kitchen littles, and kitchen nuggets. I promise I've only had one, but you guys, seriously, it's been one hell of a day. So cheers. Cheers. If you're having a day, just cheers me and all will be right in the world, I promise. Holy crap. Cheers me with water. I don't even care. Honestly. Honestly, don't even care. So welcome. Welcome to Monday Morsels. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. And if you have bare essentials or bare knowledge, I hope to inspire you to make something delicious for your family, your friends, or just yourself. Whatever. Whatever. I don't judge. I'm just grateful that you've joined me tonight. All right, so we are on the countdown, guys. Okay, if you have not started thawing out your turkey, you might be too late. I'm just going to throw it out there. You might have to run your turkey in a bath of cold water for a few hours and give it to God, as one of my friends used to say. Give it to God. So, make sure, make sure that you, if you are doing a turkey for Thursday, that you get it out of the freezer. Again, you might still be too late. Um, anyways, okay. Tonight, I just thought I would do a, a sweet treat. I thought I would do something fun. Uh, we're going to go back to these little these little wonton wrappers, okay? So we did a savory wonton wrapper item a few weeks back. We did some crab rangoons, uh, K-rab rangoons, because crab is really expensive, yo. So we're going to go ahead and incorporate those again. Remember to have them in a dampened cloth. Uh, you don't want them to dry out because they just don't work very well when they're drying out. So I have, and Zane was very excited about this. He's literally the only child that I have. Actually, the only person in, in my household that cares about apples, apple pie. Like, I love an apple. Don't get it twisted. My other kids love apples too, but when it comes to apple pie, none of us are like, oh yeah, apple pie. But when I opened it, I realized that the chunks are kind of large. So I'm just going to take a knife and just kind of run it through a little bit just to break them up a little bit more so I don't have just a gigantic chunk of apples in this little tiny wonton wrapper. Okay. And again, this is going to be super simple, you guys. I probably will not be on here for very long. So again, I'm just kind of running it through the can. That's all I'm doing to kind of break up some of those chunks so we can get busy. We can get on this. Forgot to grab a spoon out, though. Good thing my drawer's right here, huh? How are you all? Hello, Brenda. Cheers. Cheers again. All right. I don't know if everybody can see. I'm going to tilt this down just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. So again, we've got our wonton wrappers in play. I've got a little dish of water because we're going to moisten the outside. If that just made you cringe, I apologize, but it's the only other word for it. I'm wet it down? Like, that sounds any better, you guys. Come on. Come on. So if you are one of my personal Facebook friends, you may have saw that I got a new debt in my car yesterday, so that was a fun and exciting yeah, some guy decided that he wanted to be a douchebag and come right up on me. Um, I was in a 45 mile an hour zone, saw him coming up on me, two lane road, double lines, um, and I thought, I'm going 54, I need to slow down anyways, and here comes this D-bag to be right up on my ass. He was probably about three feet from me. And I'm just using a tablespoon, you guys. Just using a tablespoon. I hope you can see that. Um, about three feet from me and decides he's going to pass me in a double a double line. So, yeah, that didn't work for me. I brake checked his ass because I'm just sort of feisty like that. So then he passes me and then he jumps in front of me and brake checks me right back. And I'm like, cool, whatever. Like, I stopped in enough time. I knew what was coming. I'm not an idiot. I used to drive for a living, for Christ's sakes, you guys. All right, so I'm just end to end. We're going to make a little triangle. You could totally leave it like this if that's what you wanted to do. I'm going to 
bend it a little bit, hopefully. I might have put too much filling in this first one, and that's okay. Oh, yep, I did. See, it's popping out. That's okay. I'm going to start over. We'll do a good one. We won't do a we won't do a, ha a half-ass one for the first one. All right, so less than a tablespoon. That's what we got to do. Um, so anyways, this guy, like, jumps in front of me, break checks me back, proceeds to stop in the middle of the road, like, legitimately in the middle of the road, gets out and yells some confusing, confusing words. I was like, am I a cigarette from Europe? Is that what I am? Is that is that what we're going for? Okay, whatever, dude. Anywho. And then he kicked my car and told me, fuck your car. So now I have a big fat dent in my car. And lucky for me, I, I, have, I have friends that care. So I actually had posted on my Facebook if anybody knew if the, because uh, immediately when I told Zane, my youngest, uh, immediately when I had told him, he said, well, I guess you got to use the hot water and dildo trick. And I was like, for the love of boy, seriously? Are you really going to go there? Y'all, I'm just super off right now. I cannot get this amount right to save my life. Yeah, so that was my fun and exciting day yesterday. What about you guys? Did you guys do something fun this weekend? Do you even care about weekends? Are you one of those that has to work on the weekends? If so, I apologize. I've done that for many, many, many years. Yeah, I'm not getting this right at all. All right. I'm going to do this. There we go. All right. So now I got one finally to work. Third time's the charm, I think. All right. Good golly. I'm getting it figured out. So it looks like we're doing about a half a tablespoon. So honestly, with these big ass chunks of apples, it's literally like one apple, maybe a tiny bit more. And this is starting to smoke. Remember, with smoke comes fire, so watch your oil. That's why I have stuff still on my stovetop, because I haven't went and bought new ones yet. A little bit of water. It's like glue. It holds them together, you guys. Holds them together. And then I did a fun, a very fun event with my friend, Miss Gail, from Sassy Sissy Boutique. We did a really nice little holiday bazaar. That was a good time. She finally ended up getting super busy, like the last hour. I was like, damn, guys, where you been all day? Oh, wait, one of the other 700 bazaars that's in the area, probably. All right, calm down, calm your tits. All right, we're gonna move that over here for a minute till I'm ready. Just trying to get it nice and uh, warm for go time, but I'm taking too long because it keeps screwing up. It happens. Again, we're just gonna triangle, then we bring these little guys around, wet it down if you need to to make it stick. And then you got these cute little purses, right? Little cute, cute little, little good luck hats is what it looks like to me. I could use some of that, apparently. Apparently. You guys got big plans? Are you cooking? Are you not cooking? I know Miss Leah is not cooking. So yay for Miss Leah for not cooking. One of my friends, unfortunately, the way she gets out of cooking is having surgery. So are you cooking? Are you not cooking? Let me know. Let me know what your all-time dish is. Like, what is your thing that you just get so excited about? Mine is like the one thing that nobody actually likes. I like making the cranberry sauce. Now that I'm like older, I love cranberry sauce. So it's great. All right, I'm just gonna do these little few, but I'm gonna let that oil cool down a little tiny bit more because it's still over there on the back burner smoking. Because Apparently I'm too busy talking and uh, not spending enough time watching my oil. And I couldn't tell you what temperature you needed it at if you're using like a thermometer or something. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like, I just go. I just do. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I pretend like it did because you should always own your mistakes. Like, I meant for it to be like that. I meant for it to be like that, you guys. It's 
how you get away with it. Now, if you're baking, it's a whole other story. I really effed up royally yesterday baking. So, uh, I baked with my niece yesterday. And, uh, yeah, let me tell you another story, because you guys just come here to hear my stories, right? All right, we're going to rock out some of these little guys first, and then I'll tell you my story. So I'm just going to set them in there. They don't take very long to cook. Obviously, your, your pie filling is already cooked. We're just going to pop these bad boys in here. I'm sorry, Brenda, I'm talking over it. That's why it keeps popping at me, right? All right. I won't, but I kind of have to. All right. So cooking with my niece yesterday, I'm just, I'm on a roll, you guys. Cooking with my niece yesterday, baking with her yesterday, and we made some cream cheese brownies. And we, I checked them, they were good to go. They were good to go. Okay, we're gonna flip these, you guys. They, the, the toothpick came out nice and clean. Like, honestly, guys, they were good to go. Let them cool for like an hour and a half. They were not good to go, okay? They, they were not. It wasn't ready, okay? Not good to go. I ended up putting them back in the oven when I got back from dropping her off and forgot about them. So they really were not good to go. <laughs> ah, it was great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. And bam, there we go. Just like that. Just like that. Whew. Now remember, these guys are thick to start, so you gotta make sure you have, don't have more than one. I'm gonna turn this down even more because it's freaking piping hot. It was giving me oil kisses. It's kind of splattering up and giving me little oil kisses. Yeah. That doesn't feel very good. But you know you've made it when you got a scar. Right? Because chicks dig scars. That's what we used to tell my, my middle child when he was little. Chicks dig scars. Right, Brenda? <laughs> Poor Ty. She's like, that's a shitty scar. <laughs> ah. Good times. All right, I'm going to do another round of these. Just so you guys see it again. So we got our little, little square. Put our filling in there. You're gonna have to just gauge that. I mean, I can't even give you like a set amount here. You're just gonna have to gauge it. And if you mess up a few times, you guys, seriously, the, the little wonton wrappers are like $2. If you mess up a few times, like my friend said, give it to God. Like, just don't even, don't even stress on it. Don't even stress on it. Okay, so now we've got our triangle. And dab a little bit on one of these ends here, fold over, fold over, and then boom. See? Just like that. And you can absolutely Google ways to fold wontons, and you will get several different ways. This is just the way that looked the easiest to me. So that's my little dirty little secret, is this was what looked the easiest to me. Besides the obvious boring triangle, because I gotta, I always gotta mix it up. I just can't be, like, I just, I just can't be plain about it. Like, I, I gotta mix it up a little bit. Just a little bit. What do we got? Three. I'll do two more, and then we'll be done. We'll be done. So make sure, you guys, um, YouTube is not uploaded completely currently. I did not do last week's stuff yet. I will get to that, I promise. We do have regular BBK on Wednesday. If you have something in particular you would like me to attempt, please message me and let me know or post it down in the comments. I always make sure to look at those. Um, I'm not like world-renowned chef over here. I'm literally just like I mean, I have a degree, yeah, whoop de doo Nobody wants to hear that when you're in the real chef world. Oh, you're a culinary student, <laughs> who cares? Like, but I kind of know my way around a kitchen. I've been cooking for a long time. I really went to culinary school in order to uh, 
learn how to cook with other people in the kitchen because that was one of my biggest downfalls is I would get all pushy and pissed off when people are in my way because that was how my mom always cooked. It's like she didn't want no help. Like get the food get out of my kitchen. So I really went to culinary school to kind of figure out how to navigate in a space where there's other people. Um, and to work with spices. I'm going to be honest with you. Hello, Serena. Um, I wanted to learn about spices. And I learned a little bit about spices. And, you know, I got introduced to some new spices I never heard of. So that was all great and lovely and dandy. But if you have something that you're curious about or maybe you want to try something, message me and let me know. I'll give it a whirl. And, like, we'll work through it together. Like, no worries. I've been trying to calm it and it wouldn't let me. But I'm nice and comfy under a heated throw blanket. That's perfect. I have a heated vest and it's been coming in handy as of late. Because it's been fucking cold. Alright, so we're going for these next five, guys. Alright, now it's not like yelling at me and screaming. Might be a little too cold, but probably not. Alright. So again, we just have our apple pie filling. You could totally use any filling you wanted. Um, sticky fingers from that apple pie filling. Uh, I'm again just using apple pie because we're having blueberry for Thanksgiving, so along with the pumpkin, but I'm making a dump cake for Thanksgiving. That's going to be blueberry, blueberry pineapple dump cake. If you've never had or heard of a dump cake, you're missing out. All my life I thought it was a family secret and then realized that it was just a 1950s thing, you know, like one of those situations. I totally thought it was a family secret all my life. How funny, huh? All right. See, now I turn my oil down too much, so time for a break. But yes, please reach out to me if there's something that you want me to do on Wednesday. Again, I will make my best attempt. You're not talking to Gordon Ramsay, okay? It's just your culinary coach harmony. But please let me know. Put it in the comments. If you're on Instagram, don't put it in the comments now. Wait till we're off because you can't see those comments unless I happen to catch it before I go off. I did not check YouTube subscribers today, but last I checked it was 145. We have like a month before our two year anniversary. Couldn't do it without you all. All of you kitchenettes that have been following and sharing and loving and following, sharing and loving and following and sharing and loving. I would love to get to 300 by December. It might be a ridiculous goal, but you know what, you guys? I'm just one of many, so I know there are others out there like me that would enjoy this. So that's what I'm going for. We also have Suck It Up Saturday this weekend, and if my eyes are not deceiving me, I believe it is Chad's birthday on Saturday as well. So, maybe he'll stop in for Suck It Up Saturday. They've been kind of doing that lately. And that's what I got. So, I'm going to post a picture of these beauties. Zane's going to probably eat all of them because I don't mess with apple pie. I am going to try one more. Just because. Just because. All right, you all. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for joining me this evening. Make sure you tune in on Wednesday, and if you have not subscribed or followed, please do so now. I appreciate you, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a good evening.